Hi there. Let's take a look at a concept in business called benchmarking. And benchmarking helps us answer questions about how we're doing. How are we performing against our competitors? Are there businesses in our industry that seem to do better than we do? And why? And what can we learn from those? That's what benchmarking is all about. It's understanding the position, the performance of a business in relation to best practice. And then not just understanding that, but then trying to do something about it to identify how we can improve performance to hopefully catch up with the best in practice, or if we are the best, stay ahead of the game. There are four basic steps in benchmarking. You don't need to understand too much detail about this, but just to explain them in very quick detail. Firstly, understanding, the starting point is understanding your existing business processes and performance. It's very hard to benchmark unless you have data on your own organization and business. Next is understanding and analyzing the processes, the performance of others, particularly those businesses you want to benchmark against. And then the third step is doing that, comparing on selective measures, key measures, your business, our business with others, the benchmarking process. But it shouldn't end there. What you should then do is identify the actions, the steps that you need if there are some gaps between the performance of your competitors and your performance. And in business, there are different types of benchmarking. Again, you don't need to know all this detail, but just to highlight uh, one or two of these to explain how benchmarking is used in business. Firstly, you might uh, take a, a very strategic view at the top of the table there, strategic benchmarking. What this really means is you're looking at the high performers in an in industry, perhaps the market leader, perhaps the business that's growing fastest, perhaps the business that has the best market reputation, and it could also be the market leader. And what is it about their strategy? What is it about that the way that they do business that means that there is a performance gap that other competitors in the market need to close? But also you might look at maybe a more, uh, more functional level or detailed level. For example, you might look at, you might use functional benchmarking. And what that basically does is look at ways uh, other businesses in other business sectors do business. There may be something about their, for example, their approach to quality assurance that you could replicate in your own business, particularly if they are best practice in their own industry. So benchmarking has uh, lots of different uses in business. Here's a very simple example just to illustrate the process. In the table here, we show some data of our business and we're using index numbers here. So don't forget an index number is all about the base of 100. And our business, if we measured our business in terms of uh, an index of 100, how does it compare on three key metrics against two of the competitors, competitor A and competitor B? Well, you can see that if we just look at competitor A, they have a higher labor productivity than we do, 130 index compared with 100, so 30% more productive in terms of labor productivity. They have a higher quality rating than we do, 100 for us, therefore 120 suggests a 20% advantage in terms of quality rating. And in terms of unit costs, if our index is 100 and their index is 80, that means that they are 20% more efficient. They have 20% low unit costs. And that would suggest that competitor A, based on this very simple benchmarking exercise, appears to have a significant advantage against us, our business. Whereas competitor B, has some indexes there which are significantly worse. What benchmarking would do is say, well, look at competitor A. What is it about their productivity? Why is it 30% higher? What can we do in our business to improve productivity to get close to their performance? What is it about their quality rating? Why are their products uh, higher rated for quality? And perhaps as a combination of labor productivity and other features, why is it they, that they appear to be so much more efficient and therefore they have lower unit costs therefore potentially a cost advantage, well definitely a cost advantage compared with our business. So you can see that benchmarking is not just about doing the numbers, it's about the actions that follow, and the interrogation of the data to identify ways in which you can close the performance gap. So it's all about performance, that's uh, just been an overview there and a very simple example of benchmarking.